Your next job hunt could start on Facebook. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Facebook launched a new jobs board. The Social Jobs Partnership app pulls in job listings from Branch Out, Direct Employers Association, Work for Labs, Jobvite, and Monster.com. Right now, 1.7 million jobs are listed on Facebook, and you can apply without ever leaving the site. We are in an age where more employers are using social media to recruit. Facebook says that half of U.S. employers are using the network during the hiring process. It's only a matter of time before Facebook finds a way to monetize these job listings and what about LinkedIn? Facebook certainly is shaking things up, but LinkedIn is still more established and trusted as a tool for recruiters. Be sure to keep an eye out for some system updates. Google TV has an update that has better voice search, a redesigned on-screen guide, and new ways to share video between a mobile device and the big screen. The features are first rolling out to LG televisions and then to other Google TV products in the coming months. Google TV always had many features, but it's been criticized over its usability. There are also updates out for Windows 8 and the Microsoft Surface Tablet. Aside from security patches, the Surface Tablet is getting a firmware update to speed up performance. T-Mobile is rolling out the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update to the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's available to download through the Samsung Keys app. Sprint users already got the update in October. Verizon and AT&T should be pushing out the update before the end of the year. And those of you using BlackBerry Messenger, there's an update that adds voice call support. Users can play place free voice calls to other BlackBerry Messenger users when using a Wi-Fi connection and you can also text and call at the same time. Pinterest is now allowing companies to transfer existing profiles into business accounts. No big shocker here given the website's massive growth and the fact that companies post stuff you want to buy and people post things they want to have. Business accounts will get verification badges, buttons and tools to drive customers to follow a company's board. In the future, there may be a way to have analytic tools. You better double check that Groupon deal in your email if it's really a Groupon deal. With the growth of these daily deal emails clogging our inboxes, cyber thieves are now sending fake deal emails to spread malware and get your information. A study shows that these fake coupon attacks are on the rise. Never download an attachment from a deal email. Also, double check the sender name and hover over those links before you click to see where it's going to take you. That's your tech news update. You can find links to all of these stories on the blog cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.